Can I see Hannah and Elliot? All right. Uh, Elliot, I've had more people like literally stop me in the hallway being like, he is amazing. Oh my God. I was like, yes, he is. And then I had more than two people say that your song, um, my side broke them in half, like literally just split their soul in two. And they said if, yeah, yeah, one person was like, I'm broken if you see the other part of me. <laughs> um, that song um, was an, or this is an unusual circumstance that I'm obsessed with. And that is that Hannah doesn't like messing around with the melodies or whatever, but she's got these intense emotions and thoughts and very fluid lyrics. And Elliot has this way of feeling what someone is feeling and translating that to the piano to where you feel these emotions coming from both. And that's a very unusual circumstance in partnerships. How does this process happen with both of you? Okay, well, it never happens the same way. <laughs> that's, a, that's a running thing which we've heard, so yeah, everybody yeah. needs to remember that. It never happens the same way. For some people it does, but. Sometimes I'll go and send him word maps or lyrics for something and he'll just figure it out. Or I'll be like, hey, I wanna write a song that kinda sounds like this. And of course, I don't really know how to name things in a way that I'm trying to say them. So I just send him songs and it's kinda, I'm like, it's kinda like this, but not really. <laughs> And then sometimes he'll just send me recordings and I'll write to them. So, Elliot, what happens when you get these lyrics? What are you feeling? Are you taking in the story? I mean, usually I, I'm trying to see different overall themes, how to make it dynamic and interesting, and just how to take little melodies that maybe complement chord progressions that I've just messed around with and make it into something that tells a story and gives, a, gives kind of a fuller picture to everything yeah. that she sends me because both parts of it kind of have their own independent parts of I, I can't really write lyrics as well and convey that type of emotion as well as she does but I can I can take something and try to make a melody with it and it always happens in a different way. Because we feel the emotion from you on the piano. We read my mind. And yeah. And that's a good <laughs> thing that Hannah just said like he reads her mind. I feel like with any type of music partnership, whether it's you, a co-writer, whether it's you, um, your producer, you, whomever, you want to make sure that you both are on the same page, which I know I teach my songwriters, speak up, you know, some of them haven't heard their voice clearly yet, they're learning that, but yeah, speak up, advocate for what it is that you want, it, and if that producer is not the person, if that co-writer is not the person, just be like, you know, we're not, we're not vibing like that. But this circumstance worked so much, and the Almost Lover song, definitely that was a hard one for me also when you were writing that. Um, and then when I heard the melody when Elliot sent that, I was like, rebroken because it's like when you've got a strong melody, and that's something for all of you songwriters to keep in mind. If you were just a lyricist, by the way, everybody's like, what do we have to do to get Elliot? What do we have to do to write with Elliot? I was like, I don't know, Hannah may have divs. We'll find out. But... I, <laughs> but I do, the, yeah, let's give you a hand, Elliot, because sometimes the co-writers and the instruments don't get the, all the credit they Thank deserve, you. but my God. Um, but I think that that's something for you all to know, especially the ones that just do lyrics. Sometimes you write the lyrics and you find a person that can communicate that. I've got a lot of my students that are new to instruments write with other students that are more verbal, uh, not verbal, more... Um, What's the word? Yeah, with their instrument. Um, what advice would you give somebody trying to come up with melodies as a lyricist? I mean, find find something that you think. Don't don't just do something for one specific song. If you're going to write a melody, see where it fits. Don't limit yourself at all with any of it. And I think also don't don't worry about how much one particular melody works throughout a whole song just just see see what see what you can do with it explore your options and find yeah collaborate find someone who you know i mean like with almost lover i mean i just she sent me a bunch of lyrics and i already kind of had some rough chord progression that wasn't really organized in any sort of form or anything and 
I just kind of started fitting different things together. We worked on some phrasing, and it that's how we got it. And I got to witness my side, because y'all had come over to my house, and I remember that, of course, I'm like, clank, 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 and you're like, mm, cringe. <laughs> and then you're like, what about this? But I remember there was a couple chords that you had chosen when you were doing that, and it just, like, changed that whole feeling, and it was just like, oh, my God, when that happened, you know that it was right. So I feel like a lot of times instinctually you guys need to be waiting for that better chord. Um, what advice would you have, Hannah, to give these young songwriters that are new and fresh in the saddle? Well, if you're working with Missy, I'm sorry, and you're welcome. <laughs> and that's what I told him when he started working I'm with I'm sorry, us too. and you're welcome. Because <laughs> it really is hard, and it's a lot of work. And sometimes you don't really want to write those things that really hurt because you're not ready to deal with them or you don't want to deal with them. But just don't give up on stuff just because it hurts. If God, it hurts too bad to mess with it now, then maybe revisit in a couple months. God, that is, that is fantastic advice because it does hurt sometimes to write some of these things that, um, that they're, we have to write. Um, I love that. Okay, fantastic, you guys. Y'all give it up for them.